Peppa Pig Tails. Ooh. That feels so squishy. Peppa and her playgroup are playing lots of games today. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like jelly. Correct. Like a banana? Correct again. <laughs> oh, mm. tastes like banana too. <laughs> <laughs> Your go, Pedro. But I don't want to touch something smushy. It'll be okay. Our smushy things were delicious. Oh, it's cold and made of metal. Is it a key? It is. Well done, Pedro. Hooray! It's a key to a special mystery box. You need to find two more to unlock the prize. Ooh! How do we find more, Madam Gazelle? In our next game, of course. These are piñatas. You have to find the exciting surprises inside. How do we do that? You break them open with these soft foam bats. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Hooray! It's full of snow. <laughs> Mine too. Oh! Hooray! <laughs> I did it! The second key! Only one more to go. I love Parcel Parcel. Me too. Me three. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought I won. It's a very long song. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh, the music stopped. <laughs> Hooray! Now Peppa and her friends have found all three keys, it's time to find out their prize. You did it, Peppa! You all did it together, Pedro! Hooray! Peppa Pig Tails! <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are helping to make <laughs> Christmas lunch. They are giving the vegetables a bath. Quack! Quack! <laughs> yes! They need bath toys. There you go, vegetables. <laughs> That's not quite what I meant when I said wash the vegetables. I finished cooking the potatoes. Why don't you and George mash them? Yes, yes! Potatoes! Not with your hands, with these. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Now, what's next, Mummy Pig? Done. That was quick. Ho, ho, ho. You've made an igloo out of potato. What fun. You can help me ice the cake now. Yes, please. With a few bits of green icing and some splodges of white icing, it looks like mistletoe. Mistletoe! Hooray! Our turn, our turn! Here you go, Peppa. You do the leaves and, George, you do the... Ooh! <laughs> like this? Well, not quite, but this is much more fun than mistletoe. It looks like a snowman. Snowman! 
Granny and Grandpa Pig are arriving for Christmas lunch. Happy Christmas, ev Oh! Oh, my! Pepper and George's Christmas lunch looks messier than Grandma Pig expected. Pepper and George have been helping us make the Christmas lunch. It's not how we'd normally do it. No, but it's much more fun. Peppa and her family enjoy a lovely Christmas lunch together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's filled with lots of laughter. And some fun new traditions, too. <laughs> Happy Christmas, everyone! Happy Christmas! Again. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a tree. Squeak! I'm going to be a wizard tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, children. Pumpkins aren't only used to celebrate Halloween. They're also used to celebrate a special holiday in America called Thanksgiving. Can I still be a wizard tree for Thanksgiving? I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> Something else people do on Thanksgiving is make a cornucopia. Cornucopia what? That sounds silly. Cornucopia? It's a horn-shaped basket that holds fruits and vegetables that grow in the autumn. We're going to make oh. one of our own. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Fresh fruits oh. and vegetables are certainly things I'm grateful for. One story even says cornucopias can magically refill themselves. Ooh, can this refill itself? Sadly not. The playgroup is making their own Thanksgiving cornucopia by collecting things that they're thankful for. I'm thankful for acorns and pumpkins. I'm going to add this chocolate bar from my lunchbox. I love chocolate bars. Oh, maybe just one bite. is the best part anyway. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. You've all made a beautiful cornucopia. It's home time and Peppa is showing Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig what she learned today. This is a cornucopia. Copia. It's part of Thanksgiving and helps remind us to be thankful for all the yummy food we get to eat. Lovely indeed. Oh, but your cornucopia is reminding my tummy how hungry it is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank 
thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Pepper, my wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <coughs> <coughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe, and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. It's bonfire night, and Peppa is very excited. She thinks bonfires are lovely to look at. Wow! Woof. Hi, Peppa! You're just in time! The fireworks will begin in five, four, three, two, one! The fireworks are going so high! Whoa! Pepper thinks fireworks are very noisy. The fireworks are really loud, Grandpa! Oh, dear. Why don't we go further back? They'll be quieter if they're far away. We're going to the back, where the fireworks won't be so loud. Good idea. We'll come too. Excuse me, please. Us again. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Is that better, Peppa? Um, yes. Thank you, Danny. Great. Now we all can enjoy how nice the fireworks look. There's so many colours. Red and blue. And green. Oh, and yellow. Peppa is having <laughs> lots of fun Yay! watching the fireworks. And now it's time for the big fireworks. Hold on to your hats, everyone! Bigger? Does that mean louder? <gasps> oh, my! What should we do? We can't go any further back. We'll have to go home. But I want to see the fireworks. I just don't want to hear them. I know. Ah. Oh. Sometimes my granddad's garage is really loud too. So I use these. Headphones? Yes. Ooh. They cover your ears and make loud sounds more quiet. Do you want to try them? <gasps> wow. That's much better! Thank you, Danny! <laughs> no need to shout, Pepper. 
We can't hear the fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> snow day. Let's go. Peppa Whoa. is very excited to play in the snow today. Yay! Let's go. But Candy doesn't look very happy. Always cold. That's part of the fun. I didn't think it'd be this cold. Can we play inside in the warm? Oh, but I want to play in the snow. Peppa and Candy mm. don't know what to do. I know. Why don't we do one snow game and one inside game? And we see which is best. OK. That sounds like a good idea. Peppa and Candy are making a snowman. It's very tall. That was fun. Hmm. Just need a nice woolly hat. <gasps> Whoa! Uh... <laughs> Meow! I think we should go inside and get warm now. Mm. Peppa and Candy have made a <laughs> pillow fort. It is very cosy and warm. There! All finished. It's perfect. This was a fun idea. Phew! It's very warm in here. Why don't we try something in the snow to cool down? Peppa and Candy spend the day playing lots of different games. <laughs> they go sledding outside. Whee! <gasps> oh. <gasps> <gasps> they drink delicious hot chocolate. and make lovely snow angels. <laughs> they even race around indoors. <laughs> and outdoors. But they can't agree what is best. We've tried everything. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Candy. Why the sad faces? We can't find something to do that is fun in the warm and in the cold. That is difficult. Oh, how about some delicious fruity snow cones? <gasps> They're made of nice cold snow yeah. and perfect to be enjoyed in the warm inside. <laughs> Mmm, thank you, Miss Rabbit. Wow, thank you. Peppa and Candy both agree that this is best. <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <sighs> hmm, something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's... Cold! 
There's the ball. Hey! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fort. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> Peppa Pig Today is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Yay! Hooray! Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh, no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Slower, Peppa! Don't drop the egg! OK! <laughs> Slow down, Danny! <gasps> but don't go too slow! <laughs> slower! Faster! <laughs> slower! <laughs> no faster! <laughs> yeah. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! We won the race! It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss, we'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <laughs> We had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The Pink Team and the Blue Team love Sports Day. Everyone loves Sports Day. Peppa Pig Tails! Whoops! <gasps> Peppa 
Peppa and her friends are going to watch the football match today. Oh dear, the cake is squashed. Oh no, my trophy cake. I'm very sorry, Mummy Pig. It's okay, we'll just have to make a new one. But there's only ten minutes until the match starts. Well, we'd better get a wriggle on then. To the supermarket! All right. Who wants to play football? Yes! Yay! We've not got much time, so we're going to have to split up. Peppa, you and I will find the sponge cakes. Hooray! Granny Pig, you and Mandy Mouse find the icing. And Daddy Pig, you and George are in charge of sprinkles. Sprinkles! Let's go! Let's go! Aim for the top corner. There, in the top corner. <laughs> Put it in the back of the net. Well done. Pop it in the basket. Hooray! I can save three shots at once. Ha! Ah. We'll need three sponge cakes, Peppa. Whoa! Phew! Well done, team. We've got all the ingredients. Now let's get back home and make this cake. Everyone is very busy making the new cake. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> How many goals is that? One hundred or one hundred and one? We made a new cake! Hooray! And just in time, the game's about to start! Hooray! Peppa Pig Tails! Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel! Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone! Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible! Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes! Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. 
Now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Ah! Oh dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. Wow! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Woof, woof. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Ah, too high! Too high! Oh. Can we go lower instead?
bad, Miss Rabbit. Certainly. Oh! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle. Oh. That cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well... I suppose that might keep my mind off things. And so Pepper, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work, the attention to detail. Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Already? But I was having fun. That wasn't scary at all. I told you, flying is really fun. Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Handball! That's against the rules. Oops. Why are you blowing a whistle, Miss Rabbit? And what do those cards mean? I'm a referee. I blow the whistle to get attention. If someone makes a mistake, I give them a yellow card. And if someone's being a bit silly, I give them a red card. Ooh, can I be the referee? Of course. Now, Pepper is the referee. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Pepper? You kicked the ball too fast. Mandy missed it. But that's not against the rules. I'm the referee now, Daddy, so I say it is. Oh, dear. Pepper likes being the referee, and she really likes blowing the whistle. <laughs> Your shoelace is undone. You're not smiling. Ah. Oh! You nearly kicked that lovely flower. Pepper is finding all sorts of reasons to blow the whistle. Oh! <gasps> You're running too fast. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> You're swinging too high. Oh. Woof, woof. Your ice cream is too melty. Watch out! Oof. Can we have a go now? I want a kick. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Miss Rabbit are not following the rules. <gasps> Referee! This duck is too sweet. Referee Peppa! Peppa is having so much fun, she's Ooh. forgotten all about the football match. Oops. Uh -huh. uh. <gasps> oh. Daddy, that's not how you play football. You're being a bit silly. I'm going to have to give you a red card. <laughs> Sorry, Peppa. I suppose we got a bit carried away. That Peppa Pig Tales! Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why 
Why is baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> No, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. Hmm. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Pepper most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Her pig tails. Pepper and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> Emily, did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work, and the water tasted horrible. 
That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Pepper practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, okay. <gasps> I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! Pepper and George are playing at Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Grandpa, catch! Ho, 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 ho. Catch! <laughs> What's this? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Ho, 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 ho. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting these seeds. Seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree. Like this. Ooh. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree. Like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm. <laughs> 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 and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Peppa and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Peppa. It will take a long time to grow. Peppa, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I want the strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Peppa. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. I will have strawberries. Yes. Come on, Peppa. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig looks after Peppa's strawberry plant. After many days, Grandpa Pig finds a tiny plant growing. Day by day, the plant grows bigger and bigger. Then one day, Grandpa Pig finds something very special. Strawberries! Grandpa, we're back! Peppa and George have come to play again. Grandpa, Grandpa, did my plant grow? Yes! Look! Ooh! <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa, can we plant something else? Yes. Now it's George's turn to choose. Yes, you choose, George. Choose a carrot. Grandpa, 
I think George wants to grow a carrot. George, would you like to grow a carrot? No. What would you like to grow? George has thought of something he wants to grow. Dinosaur. George wants to grow a dinosaur tree. <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't grow trees. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Peppa, George, Mummy and Daddy are having breakfast. It is a lovely sunny day and Peppa and George can't wait to go into the garden to play. Mummy, please can we go out to play? You can go out to play when you finish your breakfast. George, don't drink your juice too quickly. George drank his juice too quickly, and now he has hiccups. <laughs> Can we go out to play now, Bobby? Not while George has hiccups. But George's hiccups have gone, Bobby. Haven't they, George? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, you can go out and play. But look after George. <laughs> Peppa and George love playing in the garden. George, I'm going to throw the ball and then you have to catch it. George, please stop hiccuping. George! Now you throw the ball to me and I have to catch it. George! Oh dear. George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. <laughs> Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you've done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> <coughs> Turn around quickly, three times. Peppa's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shock. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. Peppa, you mustn't play so roughly with George. He's only little. Sorry, Bobby. I was just trying to stop George's hiccups. George's hiccups have gone. Here comes Daddy Pig with two beakers of juice. George, if you drink too quickly, you will get hiccups again. I'm not as little as George. I can drink juice as quickly as I want to. <laughs> the 
lovely sunny day, and Pepper and George are riding their bicycles. That's a fine pumpkin, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is very proud of his pumpkin. Pumpkins are the only thing I can grow. Probably because I love pumpkin pie. Come on, George. Daddy, Susie, Rebecca. Pepper and her friends Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Rebecca Rabbit are riding their bicycles. George is riding his tricycle. He's going so slowly. <laughs> Let's race to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. If we race to Daddy's pumpkin, we have to be very careful not to bump into it. <coughs> Daddy would be very sad if the pumpkin got broken. Don't worry, Peppa. Race you! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are racing to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Hey, watch out for my pumpkin! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! Daddy's pumpkin! Ah! Sorry, Daddy. <coughs> look at George, he's going so slowly. <laughs> George is still riding a baby bike. <coughs> Yours is a baby bike too, Peppa. You've still got stabilisers. I can ride without my stabilisers. <laughs> me too! And me! <coughs> Let's ride up the hill again. Are you coming, Peppa? No, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Peppa wishes she did not have stabilisers on her bicycle. Daddy, I don't want stabilisers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? Yes. All right, Peppa. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilisers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilisers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah! <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilisers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry, I've got you. You're doing really well, Pepper. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedalling. Pepper is riding on her own without stabilizers. Daddy, you let go. <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <coughs> Daddy, Susie, Rebecca, look. I don't need my stabilisers anymore. <coughs> look at me. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Race you to Daddy's pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! My pumpkin! I'm going to win! Peppa isn't looking where she is going. Ah! Oh dear. Peppa has squashed Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Sorry I squashed your pumpkin, Daddy. Never mind the pumpkin. The important thing is that you are OK. In future, you really must look where you are going. I promise I will, Daddy. Good. Anyway, now the pumpkin is broken, I can make it into pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie! And because Daddy Pig's pumpkin is so big, there will be enough pumpkin pie for everyone. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig has made a special box for Peppa. Peppa, this box is just for you. Thank you, Mummy. It's a secret box for you to keep secret things in. What things can I put in it, Mummy? <laughs> Only you can decide that, Peppa. It's your secret box. I know what I can put in it. Good, but don't tell me. I won't tell you or George or Daddy. It's a secret. George, this is my secret box. It's empty. 
I have to find some things to put inside. <laughs> George wants to help Peppa. No, George. Only I must know what's in the box. You have to wait outside while I choose. <laughs> Peppa is going to choose some secret things to put in the box. <laughs> My secret box is full. George, you must not look inside. George would like to know what is inside Peppa's secret box. If you like, you can try to guess. <coughs> dinosaur! George thinks Peppa has put a dinosaur in the box. Oh, George, you always say dinosaur for everything. Anyway, a dinosaur is too big to fit in the box. George cannot guess what is in Peppa's secret box. Daddy Pig is cleaning a picture. Daddy, this is my secret box. Mummy made it for me. It's very nice, Peppa. What's inside? It's a secret. George tried to guess, but he didn't get it right. Can I have a try? Yes. Hmm. Have you put my glasses inside? No! <laughs> your glasses are on your head. So they are. Silly Daddy, you must have a proper guess. OK. Have you put Mummy's shoes in the box? Nope. And that's all your guesses used up. Peppa likes secrets. Mummy, no one knows what's in my box. Oh, what has George got? I made a box for George too, and he's filled it with secret things. And only George knows what's inside. Oh. Pepper would like to know what is inside George's box. It's George's toy dinosaur, of course. No. George's toy dinosaur is not in George's box. <laughs> it's too difficult. I'll never guess. Pepper does not like secrets as much as she used to. Maybe if you showed George one thing from your box, then he could show you one thing from his. OK, but we must do it at the same time. That's a good idea. On the count of three, you each show what's in your boxes. Ready? Yes. One, two, three! George has a drum <laughs> and Pepper has a trumpet. <laughs> Yes, it sounds very nice. Do you have any more secret things? <laughs> George has a custard donut. Oh. But Peppa's box is empty. I've got nothing else. Luckily, I have. Come on, tuck in. George, Peppa, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig all like custard donuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard donut. Can you guess where? Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Mm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> it is a bright sunny day. Peppa and her family are in the park. They are going to fly a kite. <laughs> George is going to fly the kite first. George runs as fast as he can. But the kite won't fly. George, you're doing it all wrong. You didn't run fast enough. Now it's my turn. Peppa runs as fast as she can. <laughs> but the kite still won't fly. The kite won't fly if there isn't any wind, no matter how fast you run. Oh. We just have to wait until the wind picks up a bit. Uh. Getting windy. Now that it is windy, the kite can fly. <laughs> the wind is quite strong now. 
wind is very strong now. <laughs> George! <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite. Hooray! <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite very well. <gasps> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. <laughs> Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense! I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Hooray! Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. Whoa! Oh dear. Everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, now that we're all muddy, can we jump in the puddle? I suppose so. After all, you can't get any muddier. <laughs> and I think Daddy Pig is going to be doing the washing. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles is just as much fun as flying the kite. <laughs> it is a lovely, bright, sunny day. Pepper and her family are going for a picnic. Daddy Pig is bringing the picnic basket. Picnic blanket, bread, cheese, tomatoes and lemonade. Is there anything we've forgotten? Mummy's strawberry cake. <laughs> I was just teasing. Mummy's homemade strawberry cake is there too. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! <laughs> <laughs> this looks like just the spot for our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great to be outdoors. We should run around a bit and get some exercise. I want to eat, then have a nap. I certainly don't want to run around. Maybe Daddy should run around a bit. His tummy is quite big. My tummy is not big. <laughs> But later, I will get some exercise, even if no one else does. <laughs> Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. <laughs> mm, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I feel quite sleepy. I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. Later. <laughs> Look, there's a little duck pond. <laughs> Mummy, can we feed the ducks? Yes, you can feed them the rest of the bread. <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Mummy, 
I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. <coughs> Sorry, Mrs Duck. We've no more bread. The ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> uh, what? You lot again? Peppa told you, there's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. Ooh, a wasp! I hate wasps. Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig, then it will fly away. <sniffs> there, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Hey, get away! Scram! Help! Chew! Get it off me! I hope the wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. Let's eat our cake before the wasp comes back. <laughs> Oh, no, we forgot to leave any for the ducks. <sighs> I think I lost it. You said you would run around and get some exercise, Daddy Pig, but I didn't believe you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hang on to my slice of strawberry cake. Stop, Daddy! We promised the rest of the cake for the ducks. Oh, you are very lucky, ducks. <laughs> Say thank you to Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Ho <laughs> ho. It's time to go home. Say goodbye to the ducks. Bye bye, ducks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have been tidying the house. <coughs> Mummy Pig and I found this old box in the attic. <sighs> Ooh. Can anyone guess what's inside? Hmm. Nope. <coughs> it's full of musical instruments. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> they are a bit old and dusty. <sighs> ah, chew! <laughs> <laughs> This is the violin I used to play when I was little. Mummy, can you play your violin? I haven't played it for a long time. Please, Mummy, please play it. <coughs> I hope I haven't forgotten how. Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can I play the violin? Hold it like this. Yes, Mummy! Ooh. Oh dear, I do not think it is meant to sound like that. <coughs> George wants to try. Hold it like this, George. <coughs> oh, Ooh. that does not sound quite right either. The violin is too hard to play. Pepper, <coughs> maybe you would do better with this tin drum. <coughs> Thank you, Daddy. That sounds better. Pepper loves playing the drum. Oh, lovely! Yes, it sounds very nice. This is Daddy Pig's old accordion. I used to play this to Mummy Pig when we first met. Oh, Daddy Pig. I remember this tune. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to play the accordion, too. Are you sure, George? The accordion is quite difficult. George, the accordion is almost as difficult to play as my drum. <laughs> OK, George. <laughs> oh. Maybe George is a bit too little to play the accordion. Daddy, what other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? 
You have to blow it very hard. That does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. That really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> that does not sound right either. <sighs> Peppa's right. It is impossible to play. Never mind, Daddy Pig. Just stick to the accordion. You play it beautifully. <laughs> well, I do play it quite nicely, even if I say so myself. And I'll play my violin. And I will play my drum. Mummy Pig plays the violin. Daddy Pig plays the accordion. Peppa plays the drum. But what instrument will George play? <laughs> George is blowing the horn. Mummy couldn't play the horn, and Daddy couldn't play it, and even I couldn't play it. <laughs> but George can play it. <laughs> Peppa and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. Wow! What a beautiful butterfly! Grandpa, why do butterflies like flowers? They get their food from flowers. How? Oh. They have very long tongues. Longer than mine. <laughs> oh, yes. The butterfly's tongue is even longer than yours. She uses it to drink from the flower. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh Pepper, the butterfly thinks you're a flower. <laughs> I'm not a flower. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> she is so pretty. I want to be a butterfly. <laughs> Peppa is playing at being a butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> George, I'm the butterfly. You have to be something else. I know. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Oh dear. George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then, you wriggle around. Ha <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> I'm a little butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. Yes, Peppa, you're a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, George, what are you doing? We are wriggly worms. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a wriggly worm too. I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> I'm a wriggly worm. I'm a wiggly worm. How do you do? I love you. I'm a wiggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. What animal do you want to be now? Hmm, I don't know. <coughs> Look, Grump, 
Peppa. There's a little frog. Why don't you play at being frogs? Hmm, frogs are not as pretty as butterflies or as wiggly as worms. But frogs do play a game you like. Hmm, do frogs play doll's houses? Ho, 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 silly Peppa. What's your favourite game? Jumping in muddy puddles. <coughs> yes, frogs love jumping in muddy puddles. <coughs> Yes, George. Let's play frogs. I'm a little froggy. I'm a little froggy. <laughs> <laughs> Froggies have found a nice big muddy puddle to play in. Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Butterflies and worms are very nice, but I like frogs the best. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. What's this? Pepper has found a box of old clothes. Wow! This is Daddy's hat. And this is Mummy's dress. George, let's dress up and pretend to be Mummy and Daddy. <coughs> here is Daddy's hat. <laughs> and here is Daddy's coat. <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn. <coughs> this is Mummy's dress. <laughs> This is Mummy's hat. <laughs> Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> I need some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Pepper has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> For some powder. <laughs> Lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty Mummy Pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on her computer. <laughs> hello, Pepper. Hello, George. I beg your pardon. Pepper, I was just saying hello. I'm not Pepper Pig. I'm Mummy Pig. Oh, yes, of course. Hello, Mummy Pig. Hello. <coughs> and this is Daddy Pig. George. <coughs> and hello to you too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a lot of work to do. Hello? Yes? Do this, do that. No, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Pepper is enjoying pretending to be Mummy Pig. But George is getting a bit bored. Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm nearly finished. There, all done. Come on, Daddy Pig, it's time you did some work. Goodbye, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Goodbye. <laughs> Daddy Pig is digging in the garden. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I'm not Peppa. I'm Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy Pig is here to do some work. That's very kind of you, Daddy Pig. Now be careful. It's a very deep hole. <laughs> I hope you are not digging in your best clothes, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make big snorts too. <laughs> Ice cream, everyone. Ice cream? Pepper? George, you must take off those muddy clothes before you eat. I'm Mummy Pig and this is Daddy Pig. Are you sure? Yes. 
So, where are Pepper and George? We don't know. Oh, well, that's a shame because I've got their favourite ice cream here. But if we can't find them, then... Here we are! Pepper? <laughs> George? There you are! Yes, Mummy. We were just pretending to be you and Daddy. <laughs> you really had us fooled. <laughs> Pepper and George have been playing in the garden. <laughs> Pepper, where are your shoes? Oh, I've lost them. Well, I'm sure we can find them. <coughs> Maybe we should try the garden. Yes! Everyone is looking for Peppa's shoes. Mummy Pig is looking in the flower bed. Peppa's shoes are not there. Oh. Daddy Pig is looking in the wheelbarrow. Peppa's shoes are not there. Oh. Peppa and George look in the flower pots. Peppa's shoes are not there either. Oh. oh. We've looked everywhere. But we can't find Peppa's shoes. Peppa's shoes are lost. Now we haven't got any shoes to wear. <coughs> Poor Peppa. Your shoes were getting a bit old. <coughs> we'll buy you a new pair. <coughs> can my new shoes be red, Mummy? Of course they can. George, I'm going to have new red shoes. <coughs> Mummy Pig and Peppa are at Miss Rabbit's shoe shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We would like to buy some new shoes for Peppa, please. Red shoes. Oh, I'm sure we can find you some lovely new shoes, Peppa. Red ones, please. Of course. Red ones. Wow. No red shoes. <laughs> George and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. Oh, well done, George. Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Look at my new shoes! They're red! I say, they are red. Mummy, do you like my new shoes? Yes, Pepper. They make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? Everyone likes Pepper's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Bobby. Very well. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mummy. <laughs> Good night, Daddy. <laughs> Good night, my little piggies. It has been raining all night, and now the garden is very wet. Mummy Pig is wearing her boots. Daddy Pig is wearing his boots. George is wearing his boots. Pepper is still wearing her new red shoes. <laughs> George is going to play in the wet grass. <laughs> oh dear. Peppa loves playing in the wet grass, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes wet. I can't play in the wet grass, George. Oh. George loves jumping in muddy puddles. Peppa loves jumping in puddles, but she doesn't want to get her new shoes muddy. Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone likes jumping in muddy puddles. Where is Pepper going? <laughs> Pepper is putting on her boots. Jump in my knee puddles, you must wear your boots. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Hello, 
<laughs> I love the school fate. Me too. What do you like best? <laughs> the face painting. I like the balloons. I like the bouncy castle the best. I like everything. <laughs> A very good choice, Pepper. See you later, Pepper. See you later. George, what do you like best? Dinosaur. Grrr. Oh dear. There aren't any dinosaurs at the fate, George. Maybe we can get you a dinosaur balloon. Are you sure they have dinosaur balloons, Daddy Pig? I'm certain of it. <laughs> can George and I get our faces painted first? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit has painted Peppa's friends as tigers. There you are, Susie. Now you look like a tiger. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like your face, Susie. Are you a pussycat? No, I'm a tiger. <laughs> Peppa, would you like your face painted? Yes, please. Can I be an elephant? Oh, dear. I don't know how to do elephants. I can do tigers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a tiger, please. There you are, Peppa. Now you're a tiger. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> George, what would you like to be? Dinosaur. Grr. A dinosaur? Uh, how about a tiger instead? I'm good at tigers. <laughs> I'm a tiger. <laughs> so am I. Meow. <laughs> tigers don't say woof woof. How do you know? Because tigers are big cats. Meow. <laughs> and I'm a cat. Cat D, please can you teach us how to be tigers? OK. Tigers creep very, very slowly, and then they jump. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers like to lick themselves clean. But best of all, when tigers are happy, they purr. Hello, children. My goodness, you're all tigers. And I'm teaching them to be proper tigers. <laughs> what do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur! That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! <laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? Watch this, everybody. What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> no. It's a... Dinosaur. That's right. A dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Grrr. Dinosaur. Now the bouncy castle! <laughs> Peppa loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. Everyone loves bouncing on the bouncy castle. This is the best school fate ever! Today is Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! Peppa and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy! Oh, what a lovely birthday surprise. And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. Quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. <gasps> We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One, two... Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh, no. We're not ready yet. 
Uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no! <laughs> is there something secret going on? Uh, no, nothing's going on. <laughs> but you can't come in. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. <laughs> OK, Peppa. I think I know what the sitting room is. <laughs> here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Peppa. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> we need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two, three. Oh, dear. We haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. <laughs> wow. Really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we just have to put up the decorations in the sitting room. <sighs> Hello, Mummy. Oh, there you all are. I was getting a little bored. Mummy, would you like to have a nice walk in the garden? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any choice? Nope. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mummy. Have a lovely walk. We'll call you when it's safe to come back in. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <coughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three, open your eyes! Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Oh. You're beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre, tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest Mummy in the whole world. <laughs> And the most beautiful. <laughs> Pepper and George are having their favourite food. Spaghetti. <laughs> what a lot of noise. Finished. Ah. <laughs> Now we'll have a bit of quiet. <laughs> What's that? It's a tooth. Where did that come from? <laughs> Pepper, maybe you should look in the mirror. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's my tooth. It's fallen out. Don't worry, Pepper. It's just a milk tooth. They're meant to fall out. Will I grow a new one, Mummy? Yes, you will, Peppa. It also means the Tooth Fairy will be paying you a visit. Tooth Fairy? Yes, the Tooth Fairy. If you put the tooth under your pillow tonight, the Tooth Fairy will come. <coughs> the Tooth Fairy will take the tooth and in its place she will leave a shiny coin. <coughs> When I grow up, I want to be a tooth fairy. Oh, <laughs> and what would you like to be when you grow up, George? 
dinosaur. <laughs> a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George, it's bedtime. We don't want to miss the tooth fairy. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. Pepper, what are you doing? I'm brushing my tooth so it's nice and clean for the tooth fairy. <laughs> Pepper cannot wait to get into bed. Pepper is putting her tooth under the pillow for the tooth fairy. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George, I'm not going to sleep. Let's both stay awake all night and see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> this Tooth Fairy is very late. <sighs> the Tooth Fairy is taking a long time to arrive. Where is that Tooth Fairy? <laughs> what is that noise? Is it the Tooth Fairy? George? Can you hear something? Oh, George. Oh, the noise is George. He was so tired he has fallen asleep. George is not very good at staying awake, but I am. I'm going to stay awake and see the Tooth Fairy. I'm not going to sleep. <sighs> <sighs> The Tooth Fairy has arrived. But Peppa is asleep. Hello, Peppa. Would you like this coin in return for your tooth? What a nice clean tooth. Thank you, Peppa. Good night. Peppa, George, wake up. It's morning. <gasps> I wasn't asleep. Did the Tooth Fairy come? No. Let's take a look under your pillow. Oh, look, Pepper. The Tooth Fairy has been and she's left you a coin. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you fell asleep, didn't you? Well, maybe I fell asleep just for a little bit. <laughs> Next time I will stay awake and I will see the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are going for a drive in their red car. Shall we have the roof down? Yes, please. <laughs> Peppa and George love their car. Is everybody ready? Ready. Then let's go. <laughs> and our car loves us too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, the car does not sound very well. Mm. What's wrong, Daddy? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Let's take it to Grandad Dog's garage. He can fix it. That's a good idea, Mummy Pig. Grandad Dog runs the garage. He is very good at mending cars. Oh dear, Daddy Pig. Your car does not sound very well. Can you fix it, please, Grandad Dog? Yes, but it will take all day. Oh! We wanted to go for a drive in our car. Don't worry. You can borrow this new car while I fix yours. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you, Grandad Dog. Would you like the roof down? Yes, please. I'll just press this red button. What a clever car. Wow. When you come back, I will have fixed your car. Thank you, Grandad Dog. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Pepper and her family like the new blue car. There are so many buttons in this new car. What does the green button do, Daddy? 
Let's see. Magic windows! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, make the magic windows go down. <laughs> <laughs> what does the blue button do? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> I love this new car. Can we keep it? No, we can't keep it, Pepper. We've only borrowed it for today. Oh? Oh, no. I think it's going to rain. Yes, I'll just put the roof up. Now, which is the button to close the roof? <laughs> Oops. Silly me. Aha! This must be the button. Ah! The new car has squirted Daddy Pig with water. <laughs> Silly Daddy, that's not the roof. This button. Oops, not that one. This button. Ah! <laughs> Daddy Pig has forgotten which button closes the roof. I don't think this car likes me. Let's try the red button. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> but now it's stopped raining. Can we open the roof again? Uh, yes. Which button was it? The, the red, red one! one. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Grandad Dog has fixed the car. Your car is fixed. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, Grandad Dog. And keep the change. Thank you, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, it's good to get our old car back again. I like the new car, but I like our old car better. And I think our old car likes us too. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig are making a treasure hunt for Pepper and George. Granny Pig is drawing the treasure map. Grandpa Pig is burying the treasure in a secret place in the garden. Grandpa Pig, have you finished? Pepper and George will be here soon. <laughs> no need to panic, Granny Pig. Pepper and her family are here. Quick, Grandpa Pig, they're here. Oh, almost done. <laughs> Grandpa Pig oh. just finished in time. Granny Pig, we're here. Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Grandpa Pig, Papa Pig. Ahoy there, me hearties. Pepper, George, we've made you a treasure hunt. Somewhere in the garden is buried treasure. Wow, treasure. Where is it? Oh, you have to look for it. Here's a treasure map for Pepper. And George could wear my pirate hat. Ahoy there, Captain George. <laughs> the map is a bit difficult. Daddy, can you help? Of course, Pepper. I'm very good with maps. Uh, it is a bit difficult. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you're holding the map upside down. Yes, I thought as much. It's easy. The Red Cross shows where the treasure is. But where in the garden are those two apple trees? Hmm, I don't know. Would you like a clue? Yes, please. The first clue is in a bottle. But where is the bottle? I can see it. <laughs> Pepper has found the first clue. A message in a bottle. Look, everyone! Here's the bottle! Well done, Pepper. Let's see what the message says. Oh, it's a message from a pirate. Mummy, can you read the pirate's message? Hmm. This pirate has very bad handwriting. The pirate's handwriting is excellent. No, I can't make it out at all. The pirate is clearly written. Follow the arrows. Follow the arrows? George has found the second clue. Sticks in the shape of an arrow. Look, they point this way. 
Peppa and George are following the arrows. <laughs> Look, George, a key. Peppa has found the next clue. A key. Well done, Peppa. <coughs> now you just have to find the treasure chest that it unlocks. But there aren't any more clues. Maybe you should take another look at the map. Look, Peppa, the map has two apple trees on it. Here's an apple tree. And here's an apple tree. So the treasure must be here. Let's take a look. Oh dear, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Hang on, there is something here. Wow, treasure! Hooray! Hooray! Well done, well done. <laughs> I've got the key to open it. Wow, I can't believe it. Gold coins! They must be worth a fortune. It's better than that. They're not gold coins. They're chocolate coins. And there's a chocolate coin for everybody. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love chocolate coins. Everyone loves chocolate coins. Granny, Grandpa, this is the best treasure hunt ever. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have just made breakfast for Pepper and George. Breakfast is ready. Peppa has red spots on her face. Not me. I don't feel very well. Oh dear, Peppa. You don't look very well. Don't worry. I'll ring Dr Brown Bear. Dr Brown Bear speaking. Peppa is not very well. Her face is covered in red spots. Hmm. Put Peppa to bed and I'll come straight round. Dr. Brown Bear has come to make Pepper better. Hello, Pepper. How are you today? I'm not very well. Stick your tongue out, please. Hmm. It's not anything serious. Pepper has just got a rash. Do I need medicine? The rash will clear up quickly, but if you like, I can give you just a little medicine. Yes, please. I'm afraid it doesn't taste very nice. Open wide, please. Eeyah! Disgusting! You are a brave little one for taking it so well. Pepper must stay in bed. I'll call back later to check that she's better. Can Pepper have visitors? Oh, yes, she can have visitors. The rash isn't catching. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Dr. Brown Bear. Bobby, can I get off now? Dr. Brown Bear says that you must stay in bed for a little bit, Pepper. <sighs> But it's so boring. Dr. Brown Bear did say you could have visitors. Can Susie Sheep visit me? Susie Sheep is Peppa's mm. best friend. I'll ring Susie Sheep's mummy. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pig. <coughs> May Peppa talk with Susie, please? <coughs> Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm not very well. I have red spots on my face. Has the doctor been? Yes, Dr. Brown Bear was here. He said I wasn't very well and that I was very brave. So are you really ill? Yes, yes. It's not pretend. I have to stay in bed. <coughs> Dr. Brown Bear gave me medicine that tasted really horrible. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> I'm going to wear my nurse's outfit. Susie Sheep has come to see Peppa. Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. <laughs> Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm not very well, Susie. I have to stay in bed. What can we do to make you better? <laughs> you could get me some orange juice. OK. <laughs> Peppa seems to be quite enjoying herself. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Do you feel any better? A little bit. <coughs> Danny? <coughs> ask my mummy if I could have some ice cream. 
And Rebecca, could you bring me some flowers from the garden? Dr Brown Bear is here to see if Pepper is better. Ah, good. The nurse is already here. How is the patient? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. I see. Would you like me to take a look myself? Yes, please. I say, no more red spots. You're completely better. Aren't I still a bit ill? How do you feel? I think I should stay in bed a little bit more. Hmm. I fancy a game with this ball in the garden. Who wants to join me? Me, me, me. Me too. <laughs> well, I never. A complete recovery. <laughs> 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 Pepper and George are very excited today. It is snowing outside. Mummy, can we go and play in the snow? Yes, but it's very cold outside, so you must wrap up warm. Hooray! <laughs> and don't forget to wear your hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> it is very cold outside. Pepper and George must wear their hats and scarves and gloves. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Pepper and George are making footprints in the snow. Pepper and George love making footprints in the snow. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> George, let's play snowballs. Pepper has made a snowball. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a lot of fun. George, come back, you little piggy. <laughs> oh dear, maybe this game is getting a little too rough. Sorry, George. <laughs> George, let's build a snowman. <laughs> Pepper and George are making a snowman. First they make the body. George, this is the snowman's body. Now they make the snowman's head. Now he needs arms and eyes and a mouth. George has found some sticks for the snowman's arms. Pepper has found some stones for the snowman's eyes and mouth. This is his face. Now the snowman needs a nose. Pepper has got a carrot to make the snowman's nose. The snowman looks very happy, but maybe he is a bit cold. The snowman needs some clothes to keep it warm. <laughs> George has found some clothes to keep the snowman nice and warm. The snowman is wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Mummy, Daddy, come and look. Mummy Pig is wearing her hat and scarf and gloves. That is the best snowman I have ever seen. <laughs> Daddy Pig looks quite cold. He isn't wearing his hat and scarf and gloves. Achoo! Daddy, why aren't you wearing your hat and scarf and gloves? I don't know where they are. I can't find them anywhere. 
I think I know where Daddy's hat, scarf and gloves are. Daddy Pig's hat and scarf and gloves are on the snowman. Oh! Ha 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 ha!